Okay, so one other issue is that I went through all this trouble, right, of computing from, what is the from, what is the to, where am I supposed to start from, where am I supposed to end, right, I, I went through all that trouble, but if you have a simple for loop, typically that's not something that you have to do, OpenMP can take care of that for you, right. So what do you do for that? So all you need to do is, you just need to say hash pragma OMP4, just before the for loop, right. And now I'm not dividing up the work. This is the whole loop, right? For i is equal to zero, i is less than error size, i plus plus. Zero to billion minus one, right? And I'm doing the addition into p sum. p sum is what? p sum is a private variable, right? It's, it's local to the thread. So in this case, what OpenMP does for you is that the compiler introduces code to ensure that this is split up. The splitting may actually happen statically or dynamically. We'll come to that. but OpenMP takes care of the splitting for you. You don't even have to specify how the work is divided. OpenMP will divide the for loop for you. You write it as a normal for loop. And this is not a new parallel region, right? Just understand that new threads are not being launched over here. That happens over here, right? This is the parallel region. New threads got get launched at this point in time and they get joined at this point in time. This is just a construct within this to say that this for loop is supposed to be divided amongst the threads. That's all this is saying, okay? And then you write your code normally as you do. And some things are implicit over here, right? Like I'm working on i equal to zero to i is less than error size. So I'm not doing any division. I've just written it as a normal loop. OpenMP will take care of dividing this loop. I'm writing this p sum plus equal to ai. p sum is private to each thread. This is a single loop, but each thread is accessing a different p sum when it's executing this loop. It's part of the loop, okay? And the remaining code is the same. And I run this code and I get pretty much the same time that I got earlier. So I don't need to do the work division myself. I can have OpenMP do it for me. Another thing you should keep in mind is that this variable i, right? Earlier I had mentioned i to be private. So now I have removed this. i is no longer private. So I don't need to declare i to be private. I don't need to scope it. So OpenMP automatically ensures that if I have a hash pragma OMP4, then the variable for that for loop is automatically made to be private. It has to, because each thread will be executing its own set of iterations. No, no, no. This only applies to the uh, for loop appearing immediately after hash pragma OMP4. So if I have a for loop inside the for loop, that for loop is is like a loop which is being executed by every thread from its start to end. That is not shared amongst the threads. This hash pragma OMP4 only applies to this for loop, not to any for loops which appear inside it. If I write another for loop for k equal to zero, k is less than 10, k plus plus, right? If I have this kind of a loop inside this i loop, then each thread will execute this loop from zero to nine. Right? Yeah, it's possible. So, I mean, this, these are some things, once you understand the basics, these are some things that you can look up the OpenMP reference manual and see how to do that, right? But it is possible in OpenMP. You can specify how many levels you want to cascade down to distribute the work amongst the threads. Okay. Another thing that we can get rid of. So I was doing all this PSUM business, right? I was maintaining a private variable PSUM for every thread. And uh, actually I wanted to accumulate it in sum. So I can actually ask OpenMP to do the, all this for me. So all I have to do is I have to say reduction, the operation, reduction operation and the variable. And then I'm going to write my code as hash pragma OMP4 for i equal to zero, i is less than error size, i plus plus, sum plus equal to ai. Internally, what OpenMP is going to do, what the compiler is going to substitute this code with is, it's going to introduce these partial sum quantities, do the partial summing, and then at the end, accumulate them together into sum. It will take care of all the things that we did implicitly. Okay, I'm specifying that sum is a reduction variable. I want the values being used by the threads to add up into sum. It will allocate partial sum variables 
for each thread and in the end add them up together. How does it know what to do with the final partial sum variable? That's what I'm specifying here plus. Right? So it will add up the partial sums into the final sum. Okay. Right, I again execute the code, it's the same time, right? So looks good. So this reduction plus colon sum, that's something that I can specify at the directive at the parallel region with hash pragma OMP parallel or I can specify it at hash pragma OMP4, right? In this case, it will allocate the partial sums and combine them at the end of this for loop. In this case, it will add them up and combine them at the end of the parallel region, right? So in this particular case, I can define this at either place. Right? But depending on your application, you can do it at whichever place it makes more sense. In this code, right, I have this hash pragma OMP parallel directive immediately followed by the hash pragma OMP4 directive. And there was nothing else that this hash pragma OMP parallel was doing other than this part, which is inside hash pragma OMP4. So I can actually combine them both together. And the way to combine them is I say hash pragma OMP parallel 4. Okay, that says that this is the parallel region, which is the following statement, and it is nothing but a for loop. Right, and I want to parallelize this for loop amongst the thread. So that's just a shortcut way of saying that. Okay, and everything else remains the same.